Welcome to week 10 here in the National Football League. This is your home for Super Bowl 54 on 3 on Fox and America's Game of the Week. We're getting ready for the matchup in week 10 between the Steelers 8-1 and the Falcons 8-1. Inside the broadcast booth, everybody. I'm Tyler Man 51 l Well, two teams who get, who got to the postseason and both met their demise at the hands of the New England Patriots at any in that postseason. So now we'll see what Matt Ryan and the Falcons have in store here against Ben Big Ben and the Steelers here in Week 10 here in the National Football League. The interesting part for this team, these two teams, because of the way their seasons unfolded, the, the New England Patriots actually really dismantled these guys. And the Steelers really got really um got got taken out of by the Steel by the by the Patriots in the AFC Championship game against the um each other. It was a 36 to 30 to 16 17 game. They got, they got dismantled and and the Patriots advanced to Super Bowl 51 where they met the Falcons and the the Patriots came back from a 25 point deficit in Super Bowl 51 and easily dismantled the Atlanta Falcons create the greatest comeback in Super Bowl history so here these two teams are getting back here for a playoff chance it's the it's an 8 and one, an 8 and 1 Fal Steelers hosting the 8 and 0 Fal um, Falcons actually the 7 and 7 7 and 1 Falcons on um, Steelers when and the eight and no Falcons here to take each other on here in week ten in the National Football League. It is without a doubt for all weather in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, partly cloudy today, chance some chances of rain today and inside this beautiful stadium. We get ready for the matchup in Week 10 between the Steelers 7-0-1 and the Falcons 8-0. Meanwhile, the Steelers won the toss they deferred, so the Falcons will receive two high-powered offenses and two high-powered receivers to get together. Julio Jones and the Atlanta Falcons and, the, and, and, the, and Antonio Brown and the, and the Pittsburgh Steelers to face each other off. And Chris Boswell kicked this one away. And the Falcons get the ball to start the first half. Kicks it away, and it's Marvin Hall around the five. Well covered by, by the Falcons. Washington on the stop. And here comes Matt Ryan, who leads the Falcons offense. Number one scoring offense in the league, averaging over 40-plus points per game during the course of this season. And that win streak is for the most part. First pass, pass of the day, Taylor Gabriel, and the pass is incomplete. And that ball was knocked, knocked out of his hands. Great coverage by the Steelers. And off the play action pass, Matt Ryan throws a dart in there. And that ball was clearly out of his, out of his hands. This is a guy that can really fly. fly. And the fact that he became available when the Cleveland Browns had some, when they let him go. Here's Freeman running to his right, still going. Breaks to a tackle from Hayden, blocked by a block, getting a good block from Julio Jones, and in for the Atlanta, for the Falcon touchdown. Well, he celebrates. What what a job that was for a 75-yard touchdown run. For Devonte Freeman, the longest play from scrimmage in this half, and this is it's another opening drive touchdown for the Atlanta Falcons in their eighth in their tenth straight game, and the Falcons are first on the board here today. Bryant for the extra point, seven to nothing, Atlanta. Here come the Steelers offense who ranks second in the NFL in points per game in the course of the regular season. And Schuster won't take it out of the end zone. It's a touchback. Here comes Ben Roethlisberger in the offense and Antonio Brown here for the for the Steelers. Roosevelt Nix is in the backfield, the fullback and at tailback. Handoff is to James Conner. Has a lot of room to run if Ricardo Allen doesn't make that stop. A gain of eight. 
years a play action for for Ren Roethlisberger and Connor is down in, to the 40 and it's a first down they run it they put an in cut on for James Connor out of, the, out of the backfield here's Connor stiff arms Keanu Neal and breaks to a tackle from Grady Jarrett second down and two coming up another eight yards to gain to gain here's James Connor out of the backfield with a loss on the play great cup great play by by Grady Jarrett to allow pressure on Ben Roethlisberger for the Steelers but he he throws it backwards for James Connor Paul Warlow in there to make a nice tackle on James Conner, but with a loss on the play, a loss of one on the play, third down and three coming up. And here come the Steelers. Vance McDonald slit to the to the right, and Roth and Roethlisberger sacked back on Atlanta side of the 45. Grady Jarrett was in on the stop, and it's a three and out for the Steelers. Ash, make that Vic Beasley. Who leads the league in sacks with 15 and a half? One shy, one sack shy of John Abraham's franchise record. And it's a three and out. Barry to kick this to punt it away. Hand over ran short punt. Here come the Steelers. Good starting field position for Atlanta. They lead by seven. Here comes Matt Ryan. The Falcons lead by seven. Starting at the 30 at the 40 play action. Ryan. Downfield. Taylor Gabriel inside the 35. Matt Ryan with pressure in his face. He runs for a four-man four-man rush. By the new by the Pittsburgh Steelers. And Matt Ryan gets this ball out of his hands quick before he gets taken down. He got he got hit on the play though, but no flags. But he didn't have to create the play. Taylor Gabriel. Not he's a he's he's a fast he's a, he's a fast receiver and a great pickup he was by Thomas Dimitrov for this offense. Looking downfield, wide open, Austin Hooper. In for a Falcon touchdown. Matt Ryan throws his second touchdown pass of the game. First touchdown pass of the game. And this one is from Austin Hooper. And he throws a and Matt Ryan throws a back foot pass off his back foot and makes a great throw for Austin Hooper. This is a this is gonna be a 14 to nothing game. Well, here's the Falcons. Are taking it to him early here in the first half. At the start of the second quarter, here comes Matt Bryant in the foul in the in the here comes Matt Bryant to kick this one away and it's Schuster around the 10 yard line. Schuster still going. 35 yards on the return from Juju Smith Schuster, and the Steelers will set up in great field position. Connor in the back out of the backfield. Pass is caught. Washington out across the thir the 35. Actually out across the 45. So about the 49 yard line. Great. Not much coverage for Robert Alford. Same play. Different result. It's another it's another first down. Same results for James for for Washington. James Conner in the backfield. Ever since they lost Le'Veon Bell, he's he's sacked again. Vic Beasley has made has made his goal sixteen sacks this season, and he he make he creates a record. Passes caught Washington. He's the primary receiver so far in this game. Here's third down and nine coming up. For the Steelers, wide open is James Conner, nowhere to go. 
drop behind drop behind at the line of scrimmage with a gain of two. Fourth down and seven. Deion Jones on the stop. Another three and out for the Steelers. Play clock is at three. Kick is up and it's out of bounds. They're gonna get a flag on that on Barry. And the Falcons will get on the field in great field position. Here comes Matt Ryan but at the 25 yard line. Here's Ryan to throw deep and making the catch. Julio Jones. 35 35 yards on the on the on the reception for Julio Jones. Matt Ryan go, throws a beautiful pass to Julio. And it checks up. And it's, he's at the 47 yard line. Cody Stensabaugh was on the, was on the coverage on Julio Jones. Ryan throws on the run out of the backfield. Devontae Freeman Gain of five. Matt Ryan couldn't find any other receivers open, but finds Devontae Freeman out of the backfield, but he was out of bounds with a gain of five on first down. Ryan throwing downfield, looking for Gabriel, and it's complete. Taylor Gabriel who's is a major weapon for Matt Ryan. Play action for Ryan. Downfield looking for Austin Hooper out of his hands. Well played by Atlanta and Sims was in there to make the pop the ball out to prevent the touchdown. Matt Ryan was under pressure. That was a very deep pass for, for Austin Hooper, but the ball was out of bound, out of his hands. Danger. It was a a big um, kept conversion. Here's Ryan downfield looking for Julio Jones. Incomplete. Cody Sensabaugh on the coverage. Third down and 10. Ryan going deep, making the catch. Taylor Gabriel hauls it in at the 10 yard line. One of the biggest differences for this offense for the Atlanta Falcons this year, the speed that they picked up. Taylor Gabriel's a 4-2-8 guy. He ran a 4-3 in a combat. And that was, he, it was t number one in the National Football League. He never had a 100-yard game in the NFL. Here's a pass to Julio Jones. End zone touchdown. At the end of the first half, This is not what you want to see. Cody Sensabaugh, he has to cover Julio as he comes across. There's no way you're going to be able to make a play on Julio. He was on double coverage. Mark Morgan Burnett, the ex-Green Bay Packer, was in on the coverage. Cody Sensabaugh, too. It's to make it 21 to nothing. They forced two turnovers in this game. And they turned these two turnovers into 14 points. These Steelers have not experienced anything like this in Week 10 in the, in the on Fox, alone alone in Week 10. As a, welcome to Week 10 back in the, in the playoffs, and as a Visa halftime report, Dallas Cowboys is on top of the Baltimore Ravens, and it's a 19 to three game against the Ravens. Very some inconsistencies with the with the with the Ravens offense, and and other teams like at the New England Patriots hosting the Bills. And the Bills had a three-point lead against the Patriots. Big deal for the Bills. And here comes the start of the second half. It's with 21 to nothing game. Here's Roethlisberger to throw, and it's he's down. Bruce Irvin on the sack with a loss of three. You meant they mentioned how long it's been for the Falcons' offense since they've been on the field. Here's Roethlisberger to throw, and it's intercepted. Deion Jones. 
First turnover interception of the game for Deion Jones. Roethlisberger throws a, a, a terrible throw, and it was picked off by Jones. They mentioned how long it's been for the Falcons offense since they've been on the field. Dan Quinn saying, it, look, it is what it is, and that's why their mindset starting here in the second half has to be we are pedaling downhill. We just have to attack. Did ask what he told his team. Reset. Forget about the first half. They mentioned what concerns him the most is ball hawking defense from the, from the Steelers and their explosive offense. And the offense. With a timeout, play clock was at three. Here comes the Falcons offense. Matt Ryan to start with a pass. Wide open. Muhammad Sanu. And he gets taken down immediately by Sensabaugh. Muhammad Sanu was a is a great free agent. Ran second field to AJ Green. Now he's now he's second field to Holyo Jones. On, on a 15 yard pass. That could have resulted as a touchdown, but Spaw prevents it. Sanu is in this Sanu is in, is in it. Here's Ryan. Throws. Goes tries to take it himself. He's down inside the one, almost close, stop, short of the goal line. And Matt Ryan tries to take it himself. Here's Ryan, take it in, trying to run for a quarterback sneak, and it's three at third and goal for the Falcons. Here's Ryan to take it himself. And he stopped. If the Falcons want to go for it on fourth and goal. Hand off to Freeman. Touchdown. On fourth and goal. Three times Matt Ryan tried to take it in the end zone, but just couldn't. But this time it's Devontae Freeman. Great block by the offensive line. Alex Mack, the center who was a free agent added from Cleveland to solidify this offensive line. And Jake Matthews with a great block. He was from Texas A&M, drafted by the Falcons. And what a great pe draft pick he was for the Falcons. Signed a five-year contact extension for the Falcons, off Falcons offensive line. And it's a 28 to nothing game at the, first, at, the, at, almost at the end of the third quarter with 46 seconds left. And this results as a touchback. Here comes the Steelers offense. After that costly interception by Deion Jones, Roosevelt Nixon that tailback. Play action, looking downfield for Antonio Brown. Intercepted. Robert Alford. These turnovers are killing the, the Steelers here in Week 10. They have not experienced any defense like this in the National Football League. They rank second in, in, in the top 10. For the for the for the NFL, and Robert Alford creates a big time turnover for the Falcons. First play from scrimmage that results as a as an interception. Ryan with a quick pass, and it's caught by Taylor Gabriel. A snatch. Not Ryan going deep and making the catch. Taylor Gabriel still going. Touchdown. Taylor Gabriel. Good luck trying to stop that. Touchdown. There was an empty backfield for Atlanta on this play action pass. Taylor Gabriel. What a pickup he was by Thomas Dimitrov. Uh, breaks away from a tackle from Sims. Hayden tried to take try to take him down from behind, but just couldn't. Sanu was trying to block him. And it's going to be a 35 to 3 to nothing game. Kick is almost blocked. Bryant knocks it through. The Steelers stopped Atlanta first time they had it in the second half on four, on try to stop him on fourth and goal. But down the field they go again. Gabriel into the end zone. 35 to nothing. Incredible. Especially against the second ranked offense in the league, averaging over 34 points per game. The Falcons average over 40 plus points per game. That's top in the NFL, with with a total of 540 points, the most in the NFL. Here's James Car Connor 
with a lot of room to run with a 14-yard run in the first down. Demonte Casey on the stop, on the cut, on the on the tackle. Here's Connor to go downfield again. Another first down. And the Steelers' offense is on the move. Spence McDonald split to the to the right. Play action for Ro for Roethlisberger. And Washington went backward a bit. He's gonna have a loss on the play of, of, of a yard. And the guy on the coverage on Washington was actually Brian Poole. What a great pick. What a great draft he was. He was an undrafted guy out of Florida. And he's become a superstar here for this Falcons secondary. Roethlisberger to throw. Can't find anyone. It's almost juggling it into the arms of Paul Warlow. And it's third down and 11 coming up. They, this is a critical third down in this game. They're trying to put points on the board. But they can't do it against this Falcons defense. Here's James Conner out of the backfield with a gain of one. It's fourth down. Looks like they want to go for it on a critical fourth down. Can they convert? Antonio Brown's in the game in this on this down. And it's Antonio Brown, his first reception, it's a turnover on downs. Heck of a secondary for the Falcons defense. At the start of the fourth, at the, almost to the end of the, the regulation. With a minute and 24, 25 left, Keanu Neal and Paul Warlow, two defenders on, on Antonio Brown, his first reception, but, Clint, but couldn't on turn, on create a first down. The turnover def, off defensively. Hand off to Freeman. Gain of four. This, this is, the Falcons are averaging over seven yards a carry in this game against the Steelers. Here's Tevin Coleman. Had a lot of room to run and more if Sims doesn't make that stop a gain of 23 on first down. Here's Tevin Coleman. Tevin Coleman still going 43 yards for a Falcons touchdown. If you want to get your offense clicking, find a run game. And that's what the Falcons are doing against this Steelers defense. And Tevin Coleman was untouched. And, Fre and Coleman is off to the races. He's the more explosive of the two running backs. He has that speed. But great hole. What a move in the hole from Tevin Coleman for a 43-yard touchdown run. And it's 42 to nothing with 53 seconds left. And the Falcons are on the are just take are lighting up the scoreboard. Against the Steelers' deep offense, Schuster almost could have ran that one for a touchdown. Demonte Casey on the stop. Here's the Steelers on first down. Antonio Brown, second reception of the game for the for Anto third reception for Antonio Brown, good for five yards. A total of 25 yards in this, 29 yards in this game. And Roethlisberger sacked again by Vic Beasley. What a pass rusher he is for the Falcons. Fifth round out of Clemson, and he's become a major factor for for the Falcons. He's is, Roethlisberger's down again. And this time it's Grady Jarrett, another guy who claimed it came out of Clemson, and it's fourth down and eight and long. This is a critical fourth, third, fourth down. If they want to convert, that means giving it to the to his receiver. They got to find a guy who's wide open, but actually stops him. It's a turnover on downs again in the Steelers' offense. I think it's going to very well wrap it up. Here's Matt Ryan going downfield looking for Julio Jones. Intercepted by Cody Sensabaugh. Great coverage against the Steelers almost to the, at the end of regulation and here come the Steelers off on uh, offense bad field position blitz on second and, and it's the safety 
Devondre Campbell on the safety. It's 44 to nothing with four seconds left. A fair catch. And that's it. The Atlanta Falcons. 44 to nothing. In week 10, the Falcons are at 9 and 0. And the Steelers are at 7 and 2. 7 and 1, one and 2. 7 and 1 and 2 actually. So now the so now the Steelers are at 7 and 2. The Falcons are at 9 and 0. This is a high score game, and the defense for the Falcons played out outstanding. Matt Ryan continues his season over a thousand yards passing, over three with four touchdown passes in this game, and the run game for the Falcons was incredible. Coming up next, State Farm post game show, and we'll talk about the stats today for the Falcons, and talk about other teams in the National Football League getting together. Thanks for watching America's Game of the Week here in in Heinz Field Stadium. Fal the Falcons are at nine and zero, continuing their win streak, and that's it. We'll see you next week against the New Orleans Saints, this, the NFC South rival. We'll see what the high Drew Brees and the Red Hot Saints have in store for this Atlanta Falcons defense. And the Falcons will win here today. Bye, everyone.